it comes to calories, meatloaf reigns supreme in the kingdom of comfort food. But with a few ingredient swaps, it's easy to cut the calories without losing all the stick to your ribs flavors. Hi, I'm Liz Weiss. Let me show you how to lighten up this family dinner classic. We're gonna begin with a pound of lean ground beef. You could use 90% lean, 93, 95% lean. That's a great way to make over your meatloaf. And to that, I'm going to add one large egg, I've just beaten that egg, and one carrot that I grated on the tiny holes of a box grater. And we've got half a cup of quick cooking oats and we're using those instead of breadcrumbs. I've got a third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You know, when you cut fat, you need to add flavor back in, which is why I've got a lot of fresh basil in this recipe. This is a third of a cup of chopped fresh basil, and that just smells amazing. I have a third of a cup of pasta sauce, just everyday pasta sauce. And we'll add a little bit more later on top of our meatloaf and then three green onions. And I chop these up pretty small. When you're making a meatloaf, you want everything to stick together. So chopping things up small is the key. And then I have two garlic cloves that I've minced. Talk about flavor, this is amazing. And then salt and pepper. I just have half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So now you wanna have clean hands for this, but you're gonna use your hands to combine all of these ingredients. It gets a little messy, but it's really the only way to get everything incorporated. This makeover isn't just about what's in our meatloaf, but also how we're going to cook it. Now I've taken a rimmed baking sheet and I lined it with foil, and I also took a cooling rack and I lined that with foil. And I'm gonna place the cooling rack right inside the baking sheet. And then I traced out a rectangle, five inches by seven inches, and I poked holes in it. And this is going to allow our meatloaf to cook and for some of that fat to drip through. So you just place your meat mixture right on top of your rectangle. And then with your hands, just form it into that seven by five inch shape. So this is a lot better than just cooking the meatloaf in a loaf pan, because then it's sort of cooking in its own fat. I love this technique. And what I'm gonna do next is place it in a 375 degree oven. I'll bake it for 35 minutes, pull it out. I'll add three tablespoons of pasta sauce on top, give it another five minutes. And then to make sure it's done, I wanna use an instant read meat thermometer and make sure it comes to 160 degrees. Meatloaf can have over 500 calories and 13 grams of saturated fat. And that's without the buttery mashed potatoes on the side. My meatloaf has just 200 calories and less than four grams of saturated fat. This is hearty and healthy. It's comfort food at its best. Mmm, so good. For Meal Makeovers, I'm Liz Weiss.